everyone, it's Dennis Wood here from Cinevate.com and uh, perhaps one of our most highly anticipated video university sessions, which is a review of our brand new Follow Focus. Uh, for those of you who've been around for a while, you know that this, this has been the one project that uh, we really have uh, worked on uh, literally for two years. And this, uh, the follow focus was actually, the original design was essentially shelved and we completely redesigned from the ground up. The reason we did that is, uh, th there were a number of reasons which really we don't need to get into. The, the bottom line is of what we've designed here is what we feel is one of the finest follow focuses at any price that you can buy. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that is because, uh, well, A, I know what went into designing it. But uh, what we did is we decided to start from scratch. We decided to start right at the basement and we said, okay, what do we need to look at first? And the first thing we needed to look at was gears. So um, the gearing inside the unit, uh, and what you'll tend to find if you look at units in this price range is you will find a transmission uh, from an RC car, uh, which is essentially a fairly inexpensive part uh, with, with a shaft in and a shaft out and usually a set of bevel gears that are of decent quality. Um, but we really, uh, in order to, to achieve our design goals, uh, we had to go beyond that. We had to actually design, uh, manufacture our own gears uh, with a particular cut and have a, a extremely durable material. And we also had to um, design in actual bearings. Um, so what you need to know about the internals is that we've designed, this unit has been designed from that up and that those are made of, uh, that we use bearings and they're actually steel parts. So, um, and that's why we've given the unit a lifetime warranty. Um, it's, it's built uh, at a level that, uh, where we can have a lot of confidence in saying, you know what, if you buy this, uh, you will have it for the lifetime of your shooting. The other big thing for us was designing the mount. And this is one thing that we'll talk about as we go over the use of our follow focus gears and how to mount this and the kind of flexibility it gives you because uh, essentially due to the design, the, the one rail design, and we've worked really hard on making sure this clamps um, so it won't slip. And that's a, that's a, it seems like a small challenge. It's actually a large challenge. So, uh, and we wanted to design the flexibility so that this could be used on the red camera to the scarlet, whatever it looks like when it comes. And of course, to our 35 millimeter adapter solutions, um, and work with a wide variety of lenses, which include the stock lens that we're shooting this on, which is the Fujinon on the HPX 500. So, this unit, its basic overview, um, it has a very powerful clamping mechanism. This is a, an EX1 rig, and we've intentionally put a monster of a lens that's the Nikon 80 to 200. Uh, which is a constant aperture f 2.8D. Um, and that's the EX1 with uh, our full rails kit and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit on this uh, follow focus and I'm gonna do what I said you could do in uh, one of the forum posts, which is I'm gonna pick up the entire rig holding on to just our follow focus knob, which is gonna be a demonstration of just how strong this equipment is. And one of the reasons why we're offering a lifetime warranty. So, not that you would ever, ever do this, um, I mean, I, I guess if you're a DP and you want to impress the heck out of your friends, you could. But I'm going to actually snug it up a bit more, obviously, than I would normally. And I'm going to take it off the tripod. And uh, this has not been rehearsed, so I'm just hoping nothing clunks, crashes, or whatever. But So there's our rig. And what I'm going to do is what I said I would do in the post. Okay, I'm going to actually hold the rig here. And I've got a little bit of separation on the gear here. But you can see we're not slipping and we're not falling off. Oh, there's a race. I'm not quite strong enough to do this. This is a, it's a bit of a workout to do this, but there's the rig, and we can even give it a spin around the pole, focus. And uh, there you go. And we're gonna put it back on here. And now that I'm red-faced, well, I guess that's probably your biggest evidence, and you can see, oh, well, lo and behold, we can still focus on our rig. And uh, I didn't. I don't technically have to readjust it here, and I can just take it off. There you go. So if you're wondering if it's strong enough to do what I just did, it is indeed. And this is uh, this is just a standard production unit. There's nothing special about it. All right. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. It uses uh, basically a one-piece CNC milled. Um, mount and for those of you who are looking to mount this uh, with the red camera this right now is set up for a 15 millimeter bore and what you'll find is this part itself 
uh, will be available shortly in a 19 millimeter part. So essentially what you will do is you'll basically take your follow focus and the top clamp system, you'll just replace this one part and now you'll have a follow focus that works on 15 and 19 millimeter rails and works at fairly tall heights um, with the uh, ability to adjust height. Now one of the things we're kind of proud of is our is our marking ring uh, is magnetically attached and it's magnetically indexed meaning it only goes on in one place uh, if you get it wrong basically kind of tells you by not sticking on there very well so it'll kind of click into place when you've got it right um, as well the marking mechanism is uh, designed for easy adjustment and uh, can be turned at any point in the follow focus and uh, tightened up again without getting in too tight so that was uh, again part of our design simple strong um, all of these parts are CNC, there's no plastic. The only plastic you'll find is this piece right here. None of the internals are plastic, none of the externals are plastic, um, except for, again, the gear and, of course, the dry erase. And make sure you use dry erase markers on this. But, um, and naturally, uh, the port here, uh, and again, it's a full, it's a 100%, it's a one-piece aluminum uh, actuator knob, whatever you want to call it, it uses a standard follow focus port. So of course you can put a whip and a crank in. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions about whips and cranks and of course uh, we're well underway in terms of manufacturing them. But like everything else, we want them to be perfect and uh, for this application, uh, this is a follow focus that we see being used on cameras anywhere from a couple thousand uh, or less to, you know, right up to film cameras. So we've designed it with that uh, level of build and uh, uh, functionality. And I'm going to show you really quickly, uh, because this one is not quite snugged up, I'm going to show you how the height adjustment, now the piece isn't actually height adjustable, but what I can do is I have the, now I've loosened off our clamping system right now, which allows us to do a lot of different things, but you can see I've got this unit tilted up, and there's no reason why I can't adjust this angle uh, if it's required, say for a low angle shot. And I can also move this down and so on. So you can see that regardless of where this is in terms of height, I have full control and engagement. Uh, let's say I had a huge focus ring or a very low rig. Well, I can mount it like this and have full capabilities in terms of angle. The other thing that's kind of special about this follow focus is that if I wish to run the gear, uh, and most people will tend to have the gear forward in this configuration. Let's just meet that up. They'll want to have the gear forward. If you want to have the gear uh, backwards or on the left. So if I was to take this off, and you can see right now, there's a good chance that if I was using a mat box and I was a lefty, I would have an interference issue right here. Now that's really simple to address because this clamping system comes off the unit. Uh, in other words, I can basically, uh, we've got clearance holes essentially, uh, I mean they're there to save weight, but what I can do is essentially loosen these uh, clamps. And what that lets me do is completely remove this and flip it 180. So when I finish this procedure, this gear would actually be over here. It just takes a couple, it would probably take a minute or two to do it. And that gives you the functionality. Again, super rigid design, no play anywhere, but I can run it uh, inside, outside, and upside down as our, as our ad says. Now you'll see very soon, and this is probably a sneak peek, but you can see how this unit would work potentially upside down if you were in a cage. Uh, again, you could mount it upside down, have the ability to adjust that angle so it makes you happy in terms of being focus pulling. And uh, I've left this loose right now. You could tighten right that right up if you like. Uh, we've left it loose slightly in order to use the unit. So I think that's a nice little overview of the features of the unit. Um, and it will carry a lifetime warranty. And I'm going to show you a few other things that I think are really important in terms of uh, why we think the system is good. And one of the big things is that a lot of the, uh, the other follow focuses out there are using zip gears, which are plastic. Um, our focus gears, you know, we've had uh, taken a bit of flack um, over the last few years because people have asked, well, why are they so expensive? Well, they're aluminum and they're anodized, and they're again um, a lifetime part, which will carry a lifetime warranty with our follow focus. So um, our next session, we're gonna discuss how to fit the ring, and uh, we're just gonna give you a little tutorial on how to, how to permanently, which we, which we like to do, uh, mount our rings on your lenses. You basically, uh, the best setup is to spend a few minutes, install them, and leave them there. So we're gonna show that to you, and uh, we'll put a, a few more shots together so you have a better idea of the follow focus.